welcome to another Installation Teen Art Club. This week we're going to be making blackout poetry, which I love because I love poetry and I love art and I think sometimes we forget that words are art and that you can that poetry itself is art. And this is just an especially fun way to do it because you just pick words on a page that are already there. So you're a little bit limited, but sometimes in the limit, like magic happens. Uh, so what you'll need is markers or pens, anything you want to help block the other words. You'll of course need pages. I rescued these pages from a book that unfortunately got water damaged. Otherwise, I don't recommend desecrating books. Um, you can also use, if you don't have any books that are on their way out, you can use magazines, you can use newspapers, you can print stuff off the internet, like a page of something. Um, if you do have things that are on the way, <clears throat> on the way out, dictionary pages are really fun. But in the meantime, you'll need pens and markers. Did I already say that? I haven't had my coffee yet, so I'm all over myself. And then you'll take it and you will just eliminate the pages or the words you don't want until you have your poem. And then I'm a chronic doodler, so I always like to put something at the base that kind of goes with my poem. So for instance, this one says, fear eyes them, her stare so intense, meeting her eyes, watch her spin gracefully in the sea. And then I doodled a little sea. Um, for my other one, I just drew a cat and then surround. Oh, yes. Here is her inspiration. What do you think of my, my artwork? Do you like your Do you like your portrait? Do you like that? Yes. I'm sure she's thrilled with it. And then I went around and put some boxes around words instead of doing full blackout poetry since I did the cat. Um, so this one, not as proud of this one. It just says, okay, I'll do it. The star, my vision, I look up. So it's pretty nonsensical and I probably should have just left it as the cat, but I didn't. So here we are. But I would love to see what you guys come up with. There are so many options for what you can do. Once you're done, you can like mount it on paper. You can make it into a greeting card. You can frame it. You can add things to it. Do you have uh, press greenery left from our other projects? That would be really fun to go with one. Um, but the important thing is that you do something and you're creative and you know, some turn out fun, others turn out a little less, but look at my cat. So it's all good. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing great out there and staying safe. Um, feel free to check out the rest of our art from summer and our upcoming art and of course Teen Writers Club where you can learn more about poetry and techniques from Cody, who's fantastic. So visit us at tscpl.org slash teens because that's your spot. Hope you guys are having a good time out there. Bye!